I'm Doug Miller from Highland Wall Street with this week's Cannabis Stock Report for Cannabis Coast to Coast. WeedMaps has agreed to pay the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission $1.5 million to settle a cease and desist order from the agency that alleged several security violations, particularly that the company misled investors on how many monthly users were actually using its website in 2021 and 2022. According to an order from the SEC, the cannabis advertising giant issued untrue and misleading monthly active user MAU metrics during quarterly reports and earnings calls between when it went public in June 21st and late 2022. The SEC charged that Weed Maps executives padded the user stats to bolster its apparent performance to investors. The company's former CEO, Chris Beals, and former CFO, Arden Lee, both misled securities regulators and investors on strength of its MAU numbers. Weed Maps has struggled financially since its public debut. The company posted net income of $152.2 million in 2021, but then an $82.7 million loss in 2022, and then they lost another $15.7 million in 2023. Let's see how the stock chart looks. It's trading around 90 cents and it's pulling back at the moment. So watch for it to hit that bottom and set back up again and it will run. And that's this week's Cannabis Stock Report reporting for Cannabis Coast to Coast. I'm Doug Miller.